Hello everyone. This is your weekly reading from the 15th of May 2022. We will be using this deck, the Messenger Animal Oracle. I'm the artist and the author and it is still in process of being able to be purchased by you but patience will pay off. Um, so our cards this week are the Roadrunner, the Leafy Sea Dragon, and the camel. If you haven't taken a moment to do so, please pop back to the first screen and just allow yourself to recognize which card you're drawn to and then come back here and we'll get on with the reading. Okay, so the Roadrunner. Now this is just fabulous energy, like fabulous energy. It's um, assertive, it's proactive, it's on task. It's the... Uh, you know, it's being there and in charge of everything that's going on on this week. It's just being optimistic and getting into every day, like with that positive, assertive attitude and knowing that you're like going to achieve, you're organized and everything flows. It's like this real inner power of um, just ideas and those ideas being inspired action and then inspired action creating a response from the world or wherever you are focusing that intention so it's just whatever you're doing this this week just this is a fabulous card this indicates that you're in the right place you're you're just manifesting an expansion of wherever it is you've been working on to bring forth greater continuity and greater you know that ripple effect like you've thrown the stone in and you've gone this is what I believe this is what I'm going to do and the world is responding or the community you wherever you're reaching out to it doesn't matter this is a fantastic card organized achieving optimistic in line, you're focused, you're clear, you know exactly what you're doing and where you're going. And it's this coming together of the energies in a way that's going to just manifest wonderful things in the future for you. So fantastic. If you've been drawn to this card, a lot of purpose, a lot of passion, a lot of clarity, it's all just flowing and happening this week. The next card, Leafy Sea Dragon. Leafy sea dragon. Um, there's an interesting energy around this one this way. This is encouraging you to be uh, to be independent and to see past the obvious. Uh, when you see past the obvious influences, then you allow yourself to step into more belief uh, and more vision. So it's encouraging you to step out of your own way and see the bigger picture to be independent and prosperous and everything's in cycles. So if something is not coming forth for you, then recognize that you are possibly being directed into a different pathway that you are meant to, you know, maybe expand your focus um, and just your energy is, it, it kind of feels like a lightning bolt, like, like almost like you're going to receive something that's really disappointing and you're going to be just broken and you're going to feel lost and you're going to be, oh, what the heck is going on? And you're not going to be able to, and you're like going to be in this space. But if you allow yourself to just set your positive intentions and allow to move through that initial response to then see that, that wasn't right. That's not going to get you to where you want to be. And you're actually just being guided to step up into a better place, step into a more prosperous, independent role in life. Um, it's, it's kind of like if you believe it, then you can do it. If you stay in that space of disappointment and loss, then you're not likely going to move on. So that self-belief, that being able to put your vision out there and exist in, I can do this. This is my path and there's nothing that's going to break it down from me. Nothing's going to take it away. Be independent, be prosperous, step forth because the opportunities are there. This is saying that you've just got to let go of the attachment of where you idealize so you can allow the flow into other areas 
in a nutshell. Um, so flow, allow, and just let go so you can experience more, pretty much. And the last card this week, the camel. So the camel, um, this, is, uh, this is a sense of feeling wounded. Like it's almost like you just, everything you thought you stood for, like it's just not happening. What you're being shown is that it's it's almost feels like a feminine energy of needing to connect with um, the inner self, the inner awareness that feminine energy brings to moderate and balance that drive with self. Um, it's a matter of not just seeing the dollar signs, maybe, or the outcome, the attachment to where you were expecting to be, but more stepping back and recognizing what is the heartfelt emotion and where does that energy take you? So consider heart entrepreneur, not entrepreneur. You know, you need to be inspired by what you love, not by the, you know, the influence of, yeah, well, that's probably a really good opportunity, but are you going to love it or are you going to get in there and you're going to hate that space? Um, it's really important to be conscious of reconnecting from that wounded energy into what you love. Find the inner spark. And when you find that inner spark and that, that alignment of who you really are, then you're going to excel. This card is really really deep in about allowing yourself to recognize who you are and then to take the steps, the small steps needed to step into that space of something more aligned to you, letting go of the attachments, you know, despite whether they seem like a good opportunity or not, you know, good opportunities aren't always soul aligned. And this card is encouraging you to get back to yourself, to recognize what empowers you, what makes you feel good, what makes you get up every day and go, yeah, I'm really looking forward to going to work today. <laughs> and not many people say that, <laughs> but what is it? And find that spark and then work with that to slowly encourage it into a fire where you just like full speed ahead. And it's just amazing. And you're living your best life. So um, hmm. preservation and guardianship is what you want to step into. This is like indicating where your soul wants to be. The, the camel kind of holds safe everything you've always been. It's got like the wisdom of the soul is in there. And it's encouraging you to get out of this affected and influenced place. So you can reconnect to that inner wisdom which is the spark, which is the empowerment, which is the soul aligned heart entrepreneur within where you just believe and trust in self to make your life happen. All right. So the Roadrunner, the Leafy Sea Dragon and the Camel. I hope this resonates with you this week. And that you can take this information and you can work with it in a way that really inspires you to be the best you possible. Awareness is key. Conscious living is key. And recognising the influences and the inner environment and taking those micro moments to just step back, realise what's going on, and then go on. Breath work. You start getting overwhelmed. Breathe and let it out and then move on. So conscious living, awareness, and have a fabulous week. Blessed be.